The key to realizing a carbon neutral society in Japan by 2050 is the reduction of carbon emissions in the energy field. To reach this goal, the Japanese gas industry has been developing e-methane, a new type of gas synthesized from hydrogen and carbon dioxide, or CO2. E-methane is carbon neutral because its production captures the same amount of CO2 as its consumption emits into the atmosphere, thereby causing no increase in CO2 on the Earth. E-methane is also an economical solution to energy transition for society and consumers because it can be distributed and used in the existing gas pipelines and appliances without replacement or modification. With this synthetic methane, the Japanese gas industry aims to replace 1% of conventional gas in the network by 2030 and 90% by 2050. To meet these targets, the industry has been advancing the technologies of methanation, a chemical process to produce e-methane, to the commercial level in the near future. Sabatier methanation is an existing technology-based method expected to be central in achieving the 1% e-methane target for 2030. This method combines captured CO2 from factories and other facilities with green hydrogen to produce e-methane. Japanese gas companies are working on demonstration tests on Sabatier methanation. Tokyo Gas has started a project at the Yokohama Techno Station using CO2 and recycled water from a nearby waste processing plant and sewage treatment plant to produce e-methane through Sabatier methanation and achieve net zero emissions through community-wide cooperation. Meanwhile, Osaka Gas plans with INPEX to conduct a demonstration test in Nagaoka City, Niigata Prefecture. The two companies will demonstrate Sabatier methanation at the world's largest scale to produce e-methane enough to meet the gas demand of 10,000 households. In Aichi Prefecture, Toho Gas is working with Chita City on a project to produce e-methane through Sabatier methanation at the existing LNG regasification facility using CO2 recovered from a nearby sewage treatment plant to supply e-methane to customers through the existing gas pipelines. As a joint project to import e-methane from overseas, Tokyo Gas, Osaka Gas, Toho Gas, and Mitsubishi Corporation collaborate to produce e-methane in the U.S. and liquefy it using an existing LNG supply chain to transport it to Japan. The project aims for an e-methane import volume of 130,000 tons per year, expected to contribute to the e-methane introduction to Japan. Various other projects are in progress overseas to produce e-methane in areas with access with abundant renewable energy sources, such as in North America and Australia, to transport to Japan and other Asian countries. Besides Sabatier methanation, Japanese gas companies are working on innovative methanation projects to produce e-methane directly from water and CO2 to achieve higher efficiency and lower cost. Those projects have been recognized as critical for the country's energy future and receive support from the Japanese government's Green Innovation Fund. To promote the development of innovative methanation, Tokyo Gas and Osaka Gas have launched a joint committee where they collaborate to resolve challenges in methanation projects. Let's look at four projects accelerating the innovative methanation technology development. Tokyo Gas is working with JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, on hybrid Sabatier methanation using the equipment initially developed for use in space to produce e-methane and hydrogen. The project aims to increase energy conversion efficiency and reduce the cost by utilizing the heat generated from the e-methane synthesis to produce hydrogen. In another project, Tokyo Gas is developing a methanation technology based on PEM CO2 reduction, a method to synthesize e-methane directly from water and CO2 using a polymer electrolyte membrane, which is also used in fuel cells. This method can produce e-methane at a simplified facility, offering the potential for further cost reduction. 
Osaka Gas focuses its e-methane efforts on developing SOEC methanation technology, leveraging its proprietary solid oxide electrolysis cells. This technology can save electricity and minimize energy loss by utilizing the heat generated from the e-methane synthesis. With this technology, the company aims to achieve the world's highest energy conversion efficiency of 85 to 90 percent to drastically reduce the e-methane production cost. Osaka Gas is working on scaling up the technology from a small flame demo with a single SOEC plate to commercialization in 2040 to produce sustainable energy at scale for a carbon neutral society. Biomethanation is an e-methane production method that utilizes the power of a microorganism called methanogen. In this method developed by Tokyo Gas and Osaka Gas, methanogens synthesize methane from CO2 and hydrogen through their vital activity. Tokyo Gas is working to improve the performance of methanogens using AI-identified enzymes that promote e-methane production to boost the synthetic rate of biomethanation. Osaka Gas is conducting a biomethanation experiment using sewage sludge at the Ebie Sewage Treatment Plant in Osaka City. In addition, the company is preparing a demonstration for Expo 2025 Osaka, Kansai, Japan to produce e-methane from green hydrogen and kitchen waste derived biogas for use in the guest house kitchens of the expo site. Japanese gas companies also devote energy to developing underlying technologies and measures to promote methanation. Toho Gas is striving to lower the cost of CO2 capture by using special membranes to filter out CO2 and materials to absorb CO2. The company is also developing a system to efficiently capture CO2 from the atmosphere and factories utilizing energy that has so far been untapped. Osaka Gas is building a digital platform to visualize and trade e-methane's environmental value in CO2 emissions reduction. The company is developing the platform as it continues exchanging views with the Japan Gas Association and other relevant organizations. Various preparations are underway for the practical application of e-methane, a new type of gaseous energy. E-methane is an effective solution to achieving net zero emissions without burdening society or consumers because of its compatibility with existing gas infrastructure and appliances. The Japanese government's Green Transformation Implementation Council views methanation as a promising technology for decarbonizing fuel. And the Japanese government supports companies' initiatives to accelerate e-methane's practical application for wide use in society. In November 2022, the Japanese gas industry gave momentum to promoting their initiatives by introducing e-methane as the common name for synthetic gas produced through methanation. Japanese gas companies are united to achieve a carbon-neutral society by introducing e-methane while ensuring a stable energy supply for people's comfortable living. We are striving to meet your expectations of a sustainable future with gas.